Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're talking about Enphase. Enphase designs, develops, manufactures and sells home energy solutions for the solar photovoltaic industry in the United States and internationally. The company is in a difficult time because there were high hopes for this company's growth. However, this didn't happen due to various reasons and now the stock has fallen sharply. And of course we want to know whether the company has a future and how much we should pay for the shares. Of course, it's a technology company where a lot of things cannot be foreseen. But I don't want to keep you in suspense and I'll give you my fair value of the shares right away. And that's exactly a hundred dollars. With my margin of safety, it's fifty six dollars. I'm using the valuation method of Benjamin Graham and I know a hundred dollars is pretty conservative, but I only expect a revenue of ten percent over the years and I have a margin of safety of 35% that makes a valuation of $56 but of course it's a good company so I would buy it at $100 and now we're coming to a quick overview of the company so how I said they design, develop, manufacture and sell home energy solutions for solar voltaic systems and also they offer a AC battery storage system and the energy monitoring system to control the services. Also, they convert solar energy at individual modules and they continue to build systems for their customers. As you can see here, they connect the whole house from battery to photovoltaic system into your own home. The company can forward the energy, they can measure it and connect it to any type of energy source. Also, they can pour it out to any type of battery or thing that needs energy. And also, you can control all the things with your iPhone or device that you have. So at the end, we have a good future-oriented technology company, but is it also fundamentally worth buying the company. So let's look at the balance sheet. We start at the revenue and net income which both are steady increasing. We have seen a strong growth in the recent years but will likely have the same or even less revenue and net income in the next years. With the free cash flow we've seen a growth which has grown from minus 45 million to plus 856 million in only 8 years. Also, they can pay all their liabilities in only 3 years with their free cash flow. They have a normal return on their assets of 13% and a good return on their capital invested of 27% and a phenomenal return on their equity and common equity of 80%. So we can see here that they getting more profitable and profitable every year. But they have long been overvalued at 66 times earnings and a market cap and cash flow value of 100. But now their valuation goes down, their stock goes down, but their cash flow and their earnings go up. So I think that's a really good sign for a potential value play. So I think the balance sheet today of the company looks really good. So now let's look what analysts are saying 14 analysts are saying we should buy the stock 11 saying we should hold the stock and 8 saying that the stock will outperform the market but i think we should not buy the stock now it's a really good company but i think at a hundred dollars it's a good price to buy it so now let's talk about how the company performed in the past and there i have a quote from the ceo who says that the stress in the supply chain started easing in the second half of 2022 and that enabling them to service the increased demand in Europe better than our competitors. How you maybe know, Enphase had a really good year in Europe and now they're looking there in Europe also to the future and they're saying that the energy crisis in Europe is increasing and that homeowners want self-consumption in regions of Europe and not only they are facing energy prices rising but also growing demand by EV vehicles and other electric things. 
So all in all, the demand is there and the company is always expanding their product range where before they only had solar system, they now have batteries to hold the energy, EV charging stations and system controllers, etc. Which brings even more sales per customer. And that you can control all this with your iPhone is pretty cool, but I think this also shows that they are progressing over the time. Now let's look at something about their way of working. They don't have any big factories but several small ones which I think it's not particularly good but it maybe will help them, I don't know. So they have manufacturing sites, distribution centers and cell pack suppliers which are all over the world and they have a lot of them in America and some of them in China, but there's a really small percentage. I think it's only 1%, which is good for some investors who don't want to rely on China. They also have some energy management technology, which I really don't really understand. So if you know, it, please comment below and maybe you could explain it. That's one also one of the things why I don't want to buy the stock right now. And with the current, how would I say it, inflation and interest rate, rate hikes, there are not so many people who want now to invest in their solar energy at home. So I think the demand will also will going a little bit down. So I will stand by my opinion that I will buy the stock at $100 at its current value, but we don't know what happens in the future. I hope it won't be really bad for the company and I hope the price of the shares will adjust to the value because I believe the company has a good future. That was it for this video. If you liked it and have something interesting to say about the company please write it in the comments and leave a like. So this was it. Bye and have a great time.